obviously that's, that's a good team. Um, you, you guys hung away from for, for the majority of it. Um, did you kind of feel yourself getting through rhythm at times? And you know, how did you evaluate your performance? I thought we played really even with them until they had an, a 9-0 run, I think. It was a 9-0 run that we turned the ball over a couple of times. But other than that, I thought we played a really even game. Um, all the stats were pretty even, except I think they shot a little better because they got some transition points during that run. But other than that, it was pretty even. Yeah. Um, um, just to um, pick it back what he said, um, we just, you know, we was, like you said, we was with them down by two, and then, like, you know, we made a few mistakes. I mean, I think, like, two or three mistakes, and went it back to, to nine. You know, those plays like that, you know, lowers the energy because, you know, the energy was high. And, you know, we just got to, um, we just got to take this aside and we'll be, we'll be all right doing conference. Obini, you lead the team in points, assists, and rebounds tonight. You're kind of coming a, becoming a, a really important creator on the floor. Um, have you kind of seen your role change into that? And, and you know, well, you I'm just doing what it takes to win. You know, I mean, if you want me to be a rebounder, I will. If you want me to score, I will. You know, I mean, today I, I saw that, like, there was a lot of people coming, like, a lot of the guys crashing towards me, and I saw a few guys open, you know, open uh, him up and all that. I mean, I'm just a guy. I just want to win, you know what I mean? Now, you have to turn your attention to conference play. Um, you get a little bit of a break here for the holidays. Um, well, what are you looking forward to about, uh, about Christmas time? And I think my favorite thing about Christmas is you realize how lucky you are. Um, I appreciate that I get to be here. I know I get some time off, but I appreciate the fact that I get to play college basketball. Not a lot of people, you know, get to do that. I don't know how many, what percent of college or high school athletes get to go into college, but it's really, really slim, and a very few get a full scholarship. So, um, and then having my family around, friends around, um, knowing that I'm fortunate for that. Um, that's that's my favorite part. Of course, I get a couple gifts too. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Just gotta you know go see the family. You know, what I mean, have fun. You know, we got what like four or five four days. four days break. You know, what I mean, get in the gym, run a little bit. You know, don't don't lose the, the get your little cardio in. Stay with the family. You know, gifts gifts to people and receive gifts. I guess. Are you guys excited to get to conference play? Um, uh, oh, yeah, 100%. Um, you know, there's a lot of good teams in our conference. I mean, GMU is really good. Um, who App else? State, App State, State and all really that. Well, we're also real good. You know what I mean? All we just got to do is clean up some few, some few like, few mistakes. Yeah. And, you know, some guys steps up, um, some guys step up, and we'll be all right. I mean, I have 100%. I have full confidence in this team. We've, I've been in this situation before, you know, my sophomore year, and I know how it's like. And I've saw the guys that we have then and the guys that we have now. The guys that we had then, the guys that we have now, they really, really want to win, and you can see it in their face. And I know it's going to click one day. It's clicking a little bit. I mean, with the game against Ohio and Toledo and we the, the road and we came down here, you could, you could you get to tell. I mean, I know the record is pretty bad, but we'll be all right during conference. Another thing also is when we have Nate Martin on the floor, <laughs> We usually win ball games, and when he's not on the floor, we yeah. usually we usually struggle a bit. Um, and we'll have Nate for conference play. He's going to learn how to set a foul trouble. So that's that's my gift to him is we're going to teach him how to set a foul trouble. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's kind of like it's kinda, it was kind of like me when uh, I think it was like a couple games. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like chippy fouls, and sometimes referees, I don't know, they sense it in you. So like like they 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 look at you and wait till you make just a little touch so that they can call a foul. It's just, I mean, he'll be all right, though. All right. Thanks, guys. Sir. Game's a tough game. They're a good ball club, well coached, uh, play extremely hard. That's why they're, I think, 11 to 2 now, I believe. I think that's right. 11 to 2, beat Kentucky at Kentucky. So, good ball club, and uh, coach does a great job. They play hard, they're very physical. Uh, first half, we. Didn't shoot the ball as well as they did. They were more efficient. We got to be better than that. But we did get it down to two points. Had a good chance. And you know, the young man that we we have to keep working. He's very talented. But we got to keep working him to understand 
this isn't an AAU game, and you you got to uh, you can't make mistakes, and uh, it'll also I'll let go them. Uh, Nate March got to stay on the floor. If he stays on the floor, it's a different ball game, and we're going to. Big thing is from the first game to this game, we're prepared to go into the conference, and they reset. I believe it's zero zero everybody in the conference. So we're coming in. I think we're ready. We'll take a few days off to help all of us, and then uh, come back in here and, and see what we can do in this conference. When you see the growth like that, I mean, it's easy to talk about it, um, but, but when you actually see it on the floor, um, yeah, as a coach, um, is it what you expected? Well, where we are is the vision I saw the team, how we would play at the very beginning. But my vision doesn't work unless it gets into everybody. And then you have new kids coming in that haven't played here, and they have their vision of the game. It takes them a while to work through that vision and find out it doesn't work as well as maybe they thought, and they try to blend in with us. And that, that takes a little time. Nate was hanging out in the foul lane area and not running through. He's still got to learn how to run from a pick and roll to the rim. We could be better at that. Uh, Kevon sometimes didn't understand the focus, mental focus that you have to have all the time and how efficient you've got to be. But if you look at him now, I think, let's see, what did he shoot tonight? He was 3 of 14. Normally he was taking 20 shots. He. He, he let one go three, probably shouldn't have right there at the end of the half. But uh, those are all things that we're, we're trying to work on. That's what happens when you, and I keep saying the same thing, but we lost a lot of leadership. So it's going to take time. And uh, I think there's a heck of a lot of improvement. I, I, I wanted to get Jacob Connor to the point guard and more of a lead guard. Uh, tonight, I think he was five and two, I believe, assist. What was he? Five to two, Jacob Connor, five assists, two turnovers, uh, nine points, three of six, three of five from threes. I mean, he's growing into that job, and we're a better team when he, he does that. And he's going to get stronger, he's going to get bigger, he's a sophomore. So my vision was he was going to be there, we're going to run Kevon and, and Cam down on the wings and then have those two guys inside set picks. And Obina has to be able to shoot a three. For that to happen, you can't have two guys that aren't spreading the floor. And the last four games, uh, he's starting to shoot threes again and make them. So we've, we've progressed a long way, and, and we're not far from this team who could win our conference. We're not very far from them, and we got a long way to go. So I'm, I'm looking forward to it, and I think these kids are too. And we're going to represent Marshall well in this conference. Well, I think he came thinking he was going to replace Andy. And no matter what I said, that was going to happen until he found out maybe that wasn't the best way to play. And they have to find that self on their own. Now, I know everybody says, well, you got to, you know, coach them up, coach them up. Well, come on. These people, you know, I, 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 those are for people who don't coach or haven't coached. He, uh, uh, he had to learn that. He's best fitted. He can run some point guard things, but he can't be the main point guard thing. And because one, one, we don't have anybody to replace him on the quick three. He needs to be out there for us first of all, and then second of all, it's better if he does it part time and let uh, let uh, uh, Jacob handle most of it. One, it takes the pressure off his legs. He doesn't have to fight every time down the floor with it. He's our top guy defensively, so you can wear your legs out. And, and anybody that's a shooter knows you have to have legs to shoot. And, uh, uh, you know, when he decided that it's best that, okay, we're going to turn it over a little bit to Jacob, get him more uh, uh, handling the ball, then we started getting better. Everything started falling in place. Obina started making threes. We got to get a little deeper on the bench. I still got to decide, uh, you know, White played real well off the bench. And then we just have to decide who seven and eight are. And we're still trying to figure out who seven, eight are on our team. I didn't play Nutter. Uh, Mike should have. He looked good in the last couple of practices. Uh, Kevon, uh, Kate, I mean, Kyson has looked good. He makes shots. And Crawford. So we got to figure out who wants to step forward. And, you know, I'm playing Crawford right now, but there's a lot. A lot, a lot of uh, work has to be done to discipline the game so he can use his talent. He's talented, 
probably one of the most talented on the team. But, you know, being talented and playing well are two different things. And he has to learn the discipline that comes with talent. And I think he will. He's a great kid. And, uh, he works hard. He wants to be good. Again, he didn't play last year, you know, so he's working himself through it, and I think he'll get better. Thoughts heading into conference play after you had a break for Christmas? Well, we play in Louisiana, a good team. They've got a good tradition. They're always right up there at the top. We do have them at home. Then we go on the road for two, but it's a reset now. It's 0-0. Zero, zero. You know, everybody starts fresh pace. And I know, you know, everybody wants to, and, and sometimes we can here at Marshall uh, the first part of the season. Sometimes we'll be able to take on some real top teams and be there. But with the NIL and, and portals and things like that, it's it's a whole different ball game than where it used to be. So we have to figure it out, do a better job, make sure that we're ready for it. And then uh, uh, is it high school kids? We can't miss on high school kids. we got to make sure that they're ready to play and that we can stay older. Because still on the floor, yet Nate Ward's got another year. obina has got another year. Uh, uh, Jacob's got uh, three more years this year and two more. And then my brain wide in, he's got this year and two more. So, and then Crawford has got two more after this year. So we're, we're relatively young and we've got to try to figure out how to stay a little bit older. And the way you do that is as we recruit and they grow through the program, the ones that are growing through that become juniors and seniors have got to be players at this level. So we'll work through it. It's a little different than it has been. And, uh, uh, we'll get there. I appreciate the fans coming. Wish everybody a very, very merry, merry Christmas. Is that it? Thank you. All right.